Hey YouTube, how the heck are you doing? I'm just sitting around eating some uh, animal crackers and of course playing around with my Canon 6D and the Magic Lantern software that I loaded on uh, several weeks ago or so. And today we're going to be looking at the exposure menu a little deeper in and I'm going to be going over the auto exposure part uh, where we can kind of tweak things even though Canon menu doesn't let you do it when you're in auto because sometimes I'm out and about and I just want to shoot auto I don't want to worry about the exposure time, the shutter time, or anything like that. So I just want to shoot in auto. But sometimes the auto white balance isn't just quite what I'm looking for. Well, Canon doesn't allow you to do that in their menu, but in Magic Lantern they, you can. So let's go ahead and look at that and see how we can do that. So let's go ahead and turn that puppy on. Get the sensor all cleaned up. And as you can see on the top there, I have it on a full automatic there. So it does all the ISO and exposure and all that automatically. If I go into the Canon menu there, it doesn't allow me to do anything except change the image quality, beeping, lens aberration correction, autofocus, nothing to do with exposure. But if I go over into my Magic Lantern, it has me on auto white balance, but if I go into the cube menu, I can do a white balance shift either in the green and magenta or I can do a white balance shift in the blue or the amber. So I went outside and I did some uh, test photos and everything and I did a uh, shift of the uh, blue and amber and what you can do is go all the way up to amber 9 from the shifting that's so you have nine levels of shifting into the amber color for your white balance or you also have nine levels in the blue and it counts down. So I did a couple shots at the blue nine and the amber nine just to give you a, a drastic difference of what you would be able to get if you were still working with the white balance but you still wanted to have a color shift because you don't like the way it's coming out in the final photo. So let's go ahead and look at those right now. Now you can also do it when you're under fluorescent light. So let's go ahead and go back into the Q button. And we're going to take this down to zero for the amber and blue setting and head on up to the green and magenta. That's for when you want to color shift in the lighting when you're under fluorescent lights. I don't have anything here but I do have my fish tank which is artificial lighting. So I'm going to go ahead and play with that with the magenta 9 and the green 9. And just to give you a little uh, idea of what that would look like. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So guys, that's just a little quick look at the auto white balance under the Magic Lantern menu. When you want to do some uh, slight tweaking to the auto white balance that you get when you do the automatic on your shooting camera. I know a lot of times I just want to be out shooting and trying to compose a shot and not worry too much about the auto white balance and all the other things that are involved in that. This way I can uh, tweak it a little bit beforehand knowing what the environment is and just go ahead and enjoy the shooting of the camera as I'm taking my pictures. So have fun with that, see what you can come up with and let me know down in the comments. And I hope to see you soon and don't forget to subscribe and like. Have a good one guys. I'm out of animal crackers. I gotta go get more.